guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that I have been wanting to film for so long. I've just been kind of putting it off because it required me to really, you know, write down all of the information that I wanted to share with you. I really want this video to be very informative. So it is going to be kind of like a battle of the crossbody bags video or basically just a crossbody bag comparison. Um, I do have four luxury bags that are crossbody that I'm going to be sharing with you today and I am going to be talking about the overview of them all, the price the pros and cons of each bag and then at the end I will be discussing with you my ultimate recommendation or my favorite bag that I, I truly recommend and I kind of have like a runner-up as well um, I do love all of the bags but I did narrow it down to what I think is the best bag so as always I would love for you to consider subscribing if you haven't already just go ahead and hit that red button down below and if you end up liking this video please give it a thumbs up okay so let me show you guys the four bags that I'm gonna be discussing with you the first bag is my Chanel rectangular mini the second one is my Louis Vuitton favorite MM. The third one is my Gucci Dine. Diane, Diane, I can't talk. The third one is my Gucci Dionysus wallet on chain and it is in the, the Blooms print. And then the fourth one is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. So I'm gonna jump right into the Chanel mini and as I'm going over each bag, I will also be kind of cutting to myself modeling each bag. I am 5'5", five five just for reference. Um, so I will be trying them on for you so you kind of see where they they lay and where they hit on my, wa on my waist and everything, my hips, my hips. Um, and so hopefully that's kind of helpful to you guys as well because obviously each bag is um, a little bit different length as far as the, the strap goes. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Chanel Mini. This retails now for 3,700 US dollars. So when I purchased this, the price was $3,100 I think. So in March 2017, which was a couple months ago, Chanel did raise their prices for this particular bag. Um, there, there is the Chanel Square Mini, and that I believe they kept the pricing the same. But this is in very high demand. People really, really want this bag, and so I guess that's why they decided to raise their prices. So that is a little bit unfortunate, but I guess it's a good thing for people that do own it already because it's, you know, as they say, it is kind of like an investment bag. So if I were to resell this, then I definitely could probably get all of my money back or even more. I probably honestly could get way more for this bag than what I paid for it. So I did get mine in the lamb skin quilted leather. I did not get caviar and I did that on purpose because I, I really do love lambskin leather. Um, I know a lot of people are terrified of it. I'm really not. I think it's extremely luxurious. I feel like it's the quintessential Chanel leather. Um, so I really wanted a bag in lambskin and I preferred it to be a smaller bag because I do want a Chanel jumbo. I'm really on the hunt for that. So I want that to be in the caviar leather. But for this bag, since it's smaller, so I did get this in the light gold hardware and I did that on purpose as well because I really wanted it to kind of reflect a different tone. So when you're looking at this video, when I look at it in the viewfinder, it definitely comes across as silver. But then when I see it in real life and you know in person, there definitely it's kind of like a lightish gold flare to it. So I love how it can kind of reflect different tones. And so when I found it in this combination, I was just so excited and I definitely jumped on it. Um, so the dimensions are eight inches this way, five inches high, and then it's two inches wide. Here is the strap, and it's not adjustable or anything, but it is kind of like the classic Chanel strap with the leather intertwined between the metal. It feels really, really nice. It's not squeaky or anything. Um, I really like it, and you can you know, wear it different ways. I wear it over my shoulder, I wear it crossbody, and then if you want to kind of um, crisscross the straps inside the bag, you can make it a lot shorter and just sit right under your shoulder. But when you open the bag up, I'll show you what it looks like inside. Um, it's pretty basic. It is just, you know, an inside with, um, there's no really compartments other than one zipper flap here. And I usually just put, um, I don't even know what I put in there. Honestly, when it comes to bags and zipper compartments, I usually don't use the zipper compartment very much unless it's like, I just really, really don't want to lose something like a parking ticket maybe, um, maybe a receipt, but I really don't put receipts in my bags that much. But at least it does have, you know, one zipper compartment for people that do like those. I think I have my authenticity card in there right now. But for the most part, it is just like a black inside with no compartments, but it does hold a decent amount. So let me just talk about the pros and the cons of the bag. First pro is I feel like this bag goes with literally everything. I can dress it up. I could wear it to like a formal, formal wedding or, you know, going out on the town like I feel like it looks good with a very very elegant dress but then I could wear it with like sneakers and ripped up jeans and I feel like it looks amazing like that as well so I love how 
like versatile it is and the fact you know you can dress it up or dress it down I also think it's a pro that it's Chanel like I love carrying this bag simply because it's Chanel I know that probably sounds really like you know I don't know like stuck up but we all I mean if you're watching this video you probably like luxury things and Chanel is pretty high on the list of designer handbags for the size of the bag I think another pro is it does hold a, a good amount I do have a full-blown video showing everything that it fits so I will link that video down below if you want to see everything exactly how I, I usually put it so for the cons lambskin really isn't as scary as some people think like I mentioned if I see like a little a mark I just buff it out with my finger and it literally comes out you know really fast however with that being said it is still lambskin so I can't like brush it up against a brick wall obviously um, so there are times when I you know I still think about it and I think how expensive it was so sometimes there are days where I don't grab it because I really 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 want a carefree bag and I would say this is on the carefree side kind of but it's still not as carefree as some of my other bags so I would say that's a con another con I would say is the price um, it now it's $3,700 in the US. I just feel like that is getting a little bit excessive, ex especially for the size of the bag. Um, I love the bag. However, if it would have been that price when I went to buy it, I'm not sure that I would have purchased it or I would have made sure that I found it um, pre-loved. But then pre-loved for Chanel, sometimes it's just as expensive as it is brand new. So you can't even go that route sometimes with Chanel. But So I do think the price is kind of like a con. The last con I think for this bag is since it's in such a high demand, it's so hard to find it in general, let alone the color, the leather, and the hardware that you want. You basically just go into a Chanel store and if they happen to have one of these, you basically just have to take whatever combination they have and so a lot of people will do that and some people won't do that and maybe as time goes on or maybe you guys have had different experiences but every time I go to a Chanel store they rarely have this in stock if they do it's kind of like a weird color that a lot of people might not like um, so I guess I do think it's a kind of like a con that you know you're it's really hard to find exactly what you're looking for when it comes to this bag okay so let's move on to the Louis Vuitton favorite MM and I'm sorry right now I feel like this video is going to be very long but you guys can kind of just skip ahead if you want to skip certain bags I do just like I said I want this video to be really informative so I'm sorry if it's a really long video but this is the size mm and it retails for 985 US dollars brand new if you were to get the PM size which is the smaller size that retails for 805 dollars however if I really had to make a recommendation I really strongly suggest buying the mm I've tried on both I've never owned the PM but I've tried it on many a time I've just from you know talking on Facebook groups and everything it's, it really does seem like everyone likes the MM a lot better this does come in the monogram the Demier Aben and the Demier Azor I did get mine in the monogram and it does come with the Vachetta strap however I did specifically purchased the monogram strap separately so that I didn't have to worry about the Vachetta. And so you guys can do that or not do that, but that, that is something that I decided to do and I will get into more about that in one second. But first, let me just talk about the dimensions of this bag. It is 11 inches across. It is 6.7 inches high and then width it is 1.6 inches so um, I don't know it's a it's a good size it's not too crazy big or anything but it, it is a, a good size and it does hold a decent amount it does come with the magnetic closure so it is really really easy to open and close it just kind of like attaches here and then like I said it does normally come with a vachetta strap unless you were to get the demier a bend then it would be the treated leather strap now I picked the monogram strap and I bought it separately for two reasons firstly like I said before the Vachetta strap you do have to worry about you know not wearing it in the rain it's gonna show marks and the Vachetta and the Demi Aben strap even whatever strap comes with this it is a little bit on the shorter side and a lot of people have complained about that when it comes to this bag um, if you're shorter that's great if you're like 5'2 maybe 5'1 I think it's a perfect strap length for you but for me I am 5'5 five five, and I feel like anybody that's maybe like 5'4 or higher um, or taller that strap is a little bit you're not gonna it's gonna be harder to wear across body whereas this monogram um, adjustable strap I feel like not only does it make the bag very very carefree but it's also adjustable so I can make it on whatever grommet or whatever that I want and it, it makes it so nice for a crossbody length I love it this way um, it really has made me enjoy the bag like 10 times more I know this strap is kind of hard to find right now I feel like 
like every time I check the website, it's not in stock and I get a lot of questions about it, but just keeping the, keep checking the website. I really believe that they are going to be getting more in soon. All right, so the inside of the bag is pretty straightforward. Um, it's very similar to the other bag. There's no, there's no compartments other than this little compartment in the back here. And that's just, it, it doesn't zip or anything. It's just kind of, you know, put something if you want to, you know, separate it from everything else. And then it does come with this other strap here that you can either leave out here um, for decoration like that or you can actually remove this strap or the strap that it comes with and you can actually make this kind of like an evening bag so it is really versatile in that way that you can you know make this kind of like a casual bag but if you take off the long strap you can definitely wear this at night and it'll just be like a little clutch or just a tiny little shoulder bag like my other videos i do have a full-blown review of what fits in it and everything i'll link that down below if you want a lot more details but as far as the pros and the cons of this bag the pros would be i think it's really easy to get in and out the magnetic closure is just is super simple it's just a, an easy bag to access I think it holds a lot and like I said I think it transitions very very well from day to night it's very very worry free especially with this monogram strap but then also I just think this bag has an amazing price point I mean granted it's definitely still pretty darn expensive for a bag however 985 brand new and for what you get I feel like the price point of this bag is just really really good for the cons of this bag I would say the first con sometimes people actually do not like the magnetic closure um, if you're in like a really crowded area someone you know very well could just open it up and steal something I mean I, that's never happened to me I feel like I'm pretty careful with um, you know, knowing my surroundings and making sure that doesn't happen. I don't have the bag kind of towards my back. I have it more on my front. So I don't think that would happen, but some people do feel it's not as secure as some other bags. A lot of people have also complained that from opening and closing the bag, a line has formed here. Um, again, that has not happened to me and I've used this so much and perhaps it's much, much older models that that's happened to. I'm not really sure, but that is a con. So if you're getting like a really, really older version of this like pre-loved just make sure that you know in certain lights you don't see a line right here and, and I do think that's just from like opening and closing the bag another con would be the strap length like I said there is this metal plate on the front and so if you're not careful or even if you are very careful it is going to get scratched a little bit and I mean mine definitely does have hairline scratches however I really don't notice it it's not like I I'm I don't want to carry the bag because of it it's just kind of you know what happens when you have metal on your bag but that's definitely something to consider if it's going to bother you the last con about this bag is they are talking about discontinuing this bag by the end of the year so i'm not really sure why they would do that since so many people love this bag however it's definitely something to consider and if you do want to get it maybe get it within the next few months i don't really know what the, the future plans are but i do want to mention that as a con the third bag is my dionysus Gucci wallet on chain, which I love. It is in the Bloom's pink print. Um, I just think it's gorgeous. I got it in Las Vegas kind of recently. It was a few months ago, and it does retail brand new for $1,350. This Gucci Bloom's print was actually released for the fall 2015 collection, and it's actually kind of turned into be kind of like a, an iconic Gucci print. A lot of people absolutely love it, including myself, and they keep doing um, different versions of the print. They, they have shoes. They just have a lot of different blooms print and I don't know when I saw this on the wallet on chain I was immediately drawn to it especially with this amazing emblem here in the front it's actually a tiger head spur and it's in this antique silver hardware which is just gorgeous the chain is a really nice metal chain it is silver obviously and I think the length of it is very good I think it's it's not too long it's not too short so I feel like it's a really good length that it kind of would work for most heights so the measurements are eight inches inches across five inches high and then um, two and a half inches wide which it looks a little bit smaller than that right now but I think that's more when you actually kind of like stuff it at least that's what it says on the website when I look at it right now I'm not sure it's two and a half inches but it does have a snap closure so you just open it like that and it's a really really nice snap closure um, a lot of wallet on chains have snap closures which I actually don't like I feel like most uh, most of them when I try them on they're just very very hard to snap but this one as soon as I looked at it and I tried it on I was like oh my gosh this this is like a, a, a really, really easy 
um, snap closure. So I know maybe some people think that's weird, but for me it was really important because you open your bag over and over and over again and you know you want it to be easy. You don't want it to bother you and be very cumbersome. So the material here is a canvas with the, the classic Gucci, you know, um, GGs in the background and then there you do open it up and it is an accordion style wallet on chain. There are 16 credit card slots so that is you know a pretty good amount and then there are um, various compartments and then there is a zipper right here. So I, I, like I said, normally I'm not a fan of zipper compartments. However, when you're carrying a wallet on chain, you really can't carry a wallet because this is basically serving as your wallet. Um, so for this particular bag, I do like having a zipper compartment because that is where I put coins, which I don't normally just, you know, grab a chunk of coins and throw them in my bag, but it's more if I'm paying for something and, and I end up getting coins, I'm not going to have a specific place to put it because I'm not carrying a wallet. So so I do put my coins in here when I do get the coins. Okay, so let's talk about the pros of this bag. So the first one I think is it definitely holds a lot more than other wallet on chains. I've never really been a fan of the Chanel wallet on chain. I know a lot of people love it, but for me, I just don't really like the style of it that much, but then it also doesn't hold very much either. So I just feel like, you know, those are, those are like the main things of a bag. So if both of those, you know, boxes aren't checked, then obviously I don't think it's for me. But for this one, I love the way it looks and I feel like it holds a lot. Now, obviously you cannot fit a wallet in there. This is your wallet essentially. So um, you, you do have to realize you're not gonna fit tons in this bag, but for a wallet on chain, I really do believe that it fits a good amount. Um, you do need to kind of put your cards here in the slots and everything. Um, and and it fits all of my essentials very, very well, so I love the size of the bag. As I mentioned before, I think the snap closure is perfect. I love it. I do think it might have to do with this emblem and the weight right here. It just pushes it in really easily. And then, like I said before, you don't have to carry a wallet, so that's kind of a pro. You don't have to carry a wallet. Now, moving on to cons, that could be a con. You're not going to fit a wallet in this bag, so a lot of people would say, that's no bueno, that's not good for them, and that's why a lot of people stay away from wallet on chains. You do have to downsize when you carry this bag, so if that's really, really inconvenient for you, then I would definitely say that's a really big con for this bag. The last bag that I'm gonna talk about is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Now, as far as what this retails for brand new, it does retail now for $1,780 brand new from Louis Vuitton. When I purchased this, it was only $1,700, so they did raise it up $80 since I purchased this like six months ago. People love it, so I guess it makes sense why they would do a price increase because it doesn't really matter what the price is. At right now, it is in such high demand. People are paying a lot of money for this bag on the, the not the black market, but you know, on pre-loved websites and everything, people are definitely getting way more than that because it's in such high demand. Now, if you were to get this in the Empreinte leather, um, that is the, the leather that's all one color, but it is kind of, you know, imprinted with the monogram, and that retails for $2,140 brand new, and then they also now have it in their Infrarouge and the reverse monogram, and that price is $1,830 brand new. So, out of all of the different options and prints and everything, I love it in the classic canvas monogram print. It's my favorite. I like the other versions as well, but when I see it like this, it just, and my heart sings. Like, I just think that monogram just looks amazing in this bag. I mean, I like monogram already, but this just seems like it's the very best for this particular bag. As far as measurements go, it is 9.8 inches this way or across, and then it's 7.5 inches high and then 3.5 inches wide. The strap is a monogram as well, and it is adjustable and removable, so that is really nice. One thing to consider is I also have that monogram strap that I talked about for my favorite MM, and to be totally honest, this is a little bit wider than that one, but they look almost identical. So part of me, the money-saving person that I am, I kind of wanna sell the other adjustable strap because this would look perfect, and I, I have used it before on my favorite MM. It's totally, you know, it's removable, it's adjustable. I just think it's a, you know, a really nice, 
thing to have and I feel like it's kind of redundant when I have the other one for my favorite MM. So just FYI, if you have this bag, don't bother getting the monogram strap because you can just interchange it with other bags and it's really nice. So there is a little bit of a shadow on the bag in the very front and then obviously this top handle, which I'm always carrying it like this honestly, just like running in and out of a store. I do often grab it like this, but I love the strap and I do carry it crossbody and over my shoulder as well. So there's just a lot of different ways you can carry this bag. And then also there is a zip compartment on the exterior on the very back and I love putting my cell phone in here it's just the perfect spot for your cell phone and you always know where it is you don't have to open the whole bag and you just kind of grab the back and it's just I love that exterior pocket on the back and then to open it um, it does have this push lock in the very front and only one side now the original versions did um, have both of the the nubs here are open, but this one now, just the one side opens and it pops it open, and then inside you can see everything that it holds. And this is the bag that I'm carrying right now, so that is why it is kind of stuffed. So there are three compartments, um, and like I said a million times, I have other videos about this bag, so I'm not going to go over it too much, but um, there are three compartments. The, the middle one right here is the biggest one, and there's like a tiny one right in the back, and that would fit, you know, more slender things. And then the very front is, you know, a, a pretty good size as well. So I have my, my mini pochette in here. And then I have my six ring key holder, and then my Chanel um, mini wallet as well. So anyway, this holds so much. I mean, like, it holds the most out of them all. So if you want to carry a bag that fits a lot, this is your this is your girl. This is this is what you will probably most like out of the four bags that I have. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and the cons of this bag. First pro, obviously, it holds a lot. Like a lot. A lot a lot. It's carefree. I did spray this with the Apple Guard spray. I highly recommend it. Again, video linked down below on how to do that and my thoughts about that, but I did spray it and it's been amazing. I've been caught in a rainstorm with this, literally downpour raining, and thank God that I had sprayed it because it's still extremely light. There's no watermarks on it whatsoever, so I highly highly recommend the Apple Guard spray. And then another pro is people just love this bag. I mean, I feel like that kind of speaks for it for itself. I feel like if a bag is just kind of, it's just like blown up, but it's not only blown up for the style of the bag, but the functionality, like just people love this bag. And I just really think that, you know, positive experiences with it really speak for itself. Now, moving on to cons as far as experiences, this bag definitely has had its fair share of problems. Um, people have had issues with the glazing, people have had issues with the push lock, people have had issues with the stitching. I mean, they, <laughs> this bag has definitely, you know, had problems and they keep changing it, they keep you know improving it, and so that's why I really recommend getting this bag brand new. I feel like a lot of bags, I'm a strong advocate for buying pre-loved, but for this one, since they are making so many improvements on it and changes to it so often, I really think it's wise to go ahead and pay for the brand new bag, because that way you're getting the best of the best, They're, you know, you already have what they've improved on, and if you do run into issues, you will be covered and they will be able to fix it and assist you with, you know, sending it back and correcting the problem. But I really think if you get it brand new, like I did a few months ago, um, I really don't think you're gonna have problems. I carry this bag so much, and. I don't have any issues whatsoever with it, so that definitely is a plus. The other con that I would say is, again, this metal plate. Some people complain that it does scratch, and I definitely have some hairline scratches, but again, it really doesn't bother me, but it is kind of a con if you think about it like that. And then also, the last con I would say, again, is just the fact that it's so hard to find. Everybody wants this bag right now. I, I, I really do think that, you know, it's in production. They're going to be sending out a lot more ship, shipments and, and people will definitely get their hands on it in time. But for right now, it's kind of hard to find. Um, you know, if you have a good essay or you're kind of just on a waiting list, you definitely will get it, but, but it just might not be tomorrow. Okay, so those are all of my bags. Um, so I guess I want to tell you guys just my ultimate recommendation. Now granted, I do love all my bags and I specifically purchased all four of my bags 
to serve different purposes. So as you can tell, as I went along with them, they all hold different amounts. They all serve different purposes. I, I feel like they all are, you know, some are good for dressier things. Some are good for more casual things. Um, so I love all four of my bags, but if I had to pick only one and I had to only pick one to recommend to you guys, which one would I pick? So the one that I would pick would be, surprise, surprise, Pochette Matisse, the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. I am just, I know I've raved about this bag forever. I've said so many good things about it, but I'm just gonna keep saying good things about it because I just carry it nonstop. It is such a good bag. Like it seriously is amazing. They really need to make it permanent. I'm sure they will because they've had such a great outcome from it. It just carries so much. You can, you know, I, I don't know. Like I know it's not like as dressy of a bag as some of my others, but I just think that, you know, the price point is kind of high. You know, it is $1,780. However, the amount that I've worn this, it's, I just, I grab it all the time and I, I have two boys so I think it's good for people that have children so much fits in here but then even if you don't have kids like it's just it's a crossbody bag but yet it almost feels like a regular shoulder bag because it carries like that much I don't know if I had to pick one this is the one that I think everybody should get and and I just think most people will be super super happy with this bag now if I had to do a runner up my runner up would actually be this Gucci wallet on chain it's totally opposite of the um Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. It doesn't carry nearly, not even close to as much as the Pochette Matisse carries. However, if you're somebody that doesn't need to carry as much as that bag, I really recommend this one. I love it. Um, it comes in so many different prints and styles. Like if you don't like the Blooms print, it comes in you know other canvas colors. It comes in very neutral colors or some other colors that have accents of color. Like I just think that this particular line is very, very versatile for a lot of people and you can really choose what your style needs. I just feel like this particular wallet on chain is just feels really really well made it holds a really good amount and I just love this emblem here and I just I think Gucci just really did a great job with this wallet on chain because a lot of people love wallet on chains especially the Chanel one but if that one is a little bit too much money for you or you're just not loving the style of it I definitely highly recommend this one it really just comes down to you know how much you want to carry in a crossbody bag now the favorite is a really great price point so I feel like if you don't you know want to spend quite as much money for the Pochette Matisse this is a really great runner up but if I'm totally honest like I just prefer grabbing my Pochette Matisse so that's why I didn't pick this one but I do love this one and I think it is a great choice so I definitely love my Chanel mini as well however it is just a little bit too much money um I, I mean I'm glad I have it I love it and everything I just I don't know it just didn't it didn't make the cut I guess okay so that does it for this crossbody bag video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it was very very helpful to you guys if you guys love a crossbody bag definitely leave them in the comment section down below because I am so incredibly drawn to crossbody bags like I, every time I look at one, I, it, and it's probably a crossbody bag, and I keep telling myself, like, you can't have, like, a million of them, so, but I know in the future I'm still going to be adding more. Four is not enough. I mean, I have other ones, but they're, you know, more high street bags, but these are my luxury ones. I definitely intend on adding more crossbody luxury bags to my collection. So, again, I hope this video was very helpful to you guys. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section down below. I will try to answer them as best I can, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye.